I'm Allison. Welcome to this episode of Airport Stuff You Should Know. Today we're talking about taxiways. Airports are specifically designed to allow pilots to maneuver around without causing an incursion. Right now, you can tell we're near a taxiway because of the signage and the lights. We learned in a previous episode that painted runway markings are white. Taxiway markings used by aircraft to move between runway and airport parking areas are yellow. Taxiway edge markings are either two dashed yellow lines or two solid yellow lines, which indicates the edge of usable pavement. Taxiway center lines are marked with a single solid yellow line. The most critical pavement marking on a taxiway is the runway hold position marking, which is sometimes referred to as a hold position bar or hold bar. This marking identifies the location on the taxiway where you must stop your vehicle and hold short of a runway safety area until you receive approval from ATC to proceed onto or across the runway. The marking consists of four yellow lines, two solid and two dashed, that are enhanced with a black background to increase visibility. Most runway incursions occur at this intersection, so these markings are very important to obey. Hi, I'm Katie. Primary taxiways are identified by a letter of the alphabet. Taxiway connectors associated to primary taxiways are identified by a letter number combination. Taxiway location signs tell you which taxiway you are on. They have a black background with yellow letters. In this example, the location sign tells you that you are on taxiway Alpha 2, and the sign lets you know you are on taxiway Charlie. Like runways, taxiways have direction signs. Taxiway direction signs have yellow backgrounds and black inscriptions. These signs always have arrows indicating the direction of the taxiway. Like direction signs, destination signs are also yellow backgrounds with black inscriptions. Destination signs provide guidance to the cargo ramp, apron, FBO, and outbound runways. Taxiways have blue edge lights or reflectors, and these are positioned a maximum of 10 feet from the taxiway's defined edge. These are either located on unpaved or paved shoulders. Taxiway edge lights are evenly spaced along straight sections of a taxiway. As you approach intersections or curves, the spacing changes and the edge lights are closer together. You should know airports at night can look very confusing, so paying close attention to these lighting and marking signs is critical to safety and knowing where you are. Always remember that aircraft wingtips have different colored lights that help you know in which direction the aircraft is traveling. This is especially important at night. A green light is on an aircraft's right wingtip and a red light is on the left wingtip. This means that when you face an aircraft and a red wingtip is on your right, the aircraft is coming towards you. In other words, red on right is wrong. There's a lot more we could cover about signs, markings, and lighting. AAAE offers hundreds of detailed training programs to the aviation industry. For more information, visit AAAE.org.